I really thought I was going to stop doing these videos because I kind of just didn't want to anymore, but I recently was reached out to by one of the Discord voice doctors for voice mod, and he was showing me all these really cool voices, and I was checking out his Reddit posts and all this other stuff, and I'm like, this guy deserves way, way more traction than what he's getting. This guy is a magical machete when it comes to this voice stuff. He is, he's way better than me when it comes to creating voices. Like, I've done my own custom voices before, and you guys have done requests, but this guy is an absolute legend. Now, he doesn't perform these voices himself. He, he typically just creates them and then, like, uses a, a raw voice actor and just kind of does it themselves. So I figured I would take majority of these and then showcase them through my performance. Some good, some bad, some average. It is what it is. But I wanted to just shed some light on all of his work. Every single one of these here is his. None of these are mine except for the EQ one, which is just for the mic quality that you're hearing at the moment. But everything else here is 1000% his. And I'll link both Reddit posts down below if you guys want to download these yourself. I highly recommend them if you really want to get into voice pod. These are absolutely fantastic. And as long as your performance is on point, you will sound pretty damn good with just about any of these. Well, let's demonstrate an easy one, let's be honest. All right, let's, let's start with the stalker. He's pretty easy. There is no salvation for your crime. This is the thing. I won't be showing any of the settings and whatnot because these are all his settings. And if you go to the Reddit post, you'll be able to download these yourself and open them up in voice mod. So I don't need to do the whole process of showing everything. So just check it out in the Reddit. But for the stalker, this is very simple. Airy tone, whispery, nothing too extravagant, don't go very deep, don't get gravelly, it's just like, you know, uh, hi, how are you doing? Like, it very like that, it's pretty much that, where you're whispering, airy breath, and that's sort of how you do the stalker, Not nothing too crazy. Let's uh, see if my L performance will hold up. I had to test this, just in case, but I, I, I never thought it would actually happen. Kira, it seems you can kill people without having to be there in person. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't just witnessed it. Listen to me, Kira. If you did indeed kill Lynn L. Taylor, the man you just saw die on television, I should tell you that he was an inmate whose execution was scheduled for today. That was not me. So for L, it's kind of weird. It was it was a lot of retakes and it's more of an articulation thing. So it's not really so much voice acting because it's through a voice modifier even in the show. So essentially for this one, you just kind of have to read the script accordingly. Be surprised at first because with what I read, it was supposed to be, you know, him being surprised that light kills L's stand in for the police report situation. So you have to be surprised at first and then, you know, go into sort of this excitement situation that he's figured a piece of the puzzle out. And then you just keep going and going and sort of just act as accordingly. And then eventually he goes down to this lower monotone and he's kind of directly addressing Light or Kira in, in this case. And that's sort of how you have to play it up. So it's more of just an acting thing rather than voice acting. I mean, it's the same thing, but you get the point. Uh, let's do Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix is fun. Isolate and devour one by one. Ah, delicious blood in the air. Clever creatures die running. Slice them apart. <coughs> oh shit, that one kind of hurt. Uh, for Kha'Zix, it's a lot of gravel. It's pretty much just you talking in monster voice the whole time. The, the voice settings, though, I will say, very on point with Kha'Zix. It's not quite perfect, but I think that's also a performance thing as well on my end. So for people that can do a better impression, I think you'll hit it a bit better than I will. But essentially, it's the gravel voice that I told you guys where you're just talking like, ah, yeah, yeah, blah, 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 fucking crazy, you eat pussy like this. You get the point. It's very uh, exaggerated. So like when Kha'Zix speaks, like devour, right? You know, you say, you know, devour. He says, devour. It's very, uh, very uh, exaggerated and gravelly. It's it's sort of just strange all around. But yeah, as long as you exaggerate certain words like devour, you don't say devour. You say devour, you know, devour. So that's what it sounds like. It's, it's like you're part of Led Zeppelin or some shit. 
I think the next one we'll do is SCP-049. A lot of people previously asked me to do this voice, which I was unaware of what it even was, so I looked into it and yeah, this one's uh this one's a performance one, but let's let's, let's give it a go. And see you are not well. The sickness has taken hold of you. I am the cure. I can hear you breathing. Stop struggling. I am trying to help you. I can sense the disease within you. Okay. Oh god, that kind of like hurt my throat a little bit. So for this one, I had to do like uh, the like, you know, where your Adam's apple is for for men. If you have, you know, obviously Adam's apple right on your throat. So for this one, I kind of have to not push on it, but just below it. There's sort of like that kind of open area and right where like your neck links into your chest uh, pretty much or just that kind of like middle area between your chin and your chest. I kind of like press on that and then I talk and it's sort of this uh, kind of soft voice. It's not what I originally thought when I see, you know, the plague mask and everything. I'm thinking, you know, dark, evil, edgy voice, but no, it's actually very a soft tone. So I press here and then it, I can feel like the tone of my voice and then I'll speak where it's like, I can sense the cure or what does he say? I forgot his, I forgot his voice line already. I can sense the disease within you. I can see that you are not well. I can feel the disease. I can hear you breathing. So you can see like it's a lot more, uh, it's kind of breathy. It's more of a softer approach to the voice. So you don't want to go full crazy mode and just get edgy, even though it very well can sound pretty cool in an edgy manner. I can sense the disease within you. Stop struggling. It's even fun when you're getting edgy with it. I ah, fuck it, we'll do one more. Let's let's do the Black Mesa one. Welcome everyone to the HEV Mark 4 Vital Sign Monitoring Activated. This voice is kind of hard. So for Black Mesa, this one's relatively simple. It's sort of the same thing as the SCP-049. At least the method is. The voice is, is a lot softer and you really have to kind of, um, what's the word here? really not going feminine but you, you have to go higher pitch so it's a soft very high pitch not not very high but just higher than natural like obviously if i were to try it with this voice that i'm talking in right now it would sound very strange so we do the same method where we take our fingers real quick put it at the bottom of our throat and we kind of press down so we can kind of hear our or feel our pitch a little bit and we kind of pitch up and we and we talk where it's like Welcome to the HEV Mark 4. Very robotic, very slow tone. Uh, you don't want to speed talk. You really got to remember you're a robot or you're, you know, AI, whatever. So you have to, you know, get into that mindset. So you, you don't just be like, welcome to the HEV Mark 4. Like it's, it sounds, it still sounds actually kind of cool, but it's not nearly as, as good as you know doing it the proper way if you're trying to go for an accurate impression but anyway that's going to be it for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed it remember if you guys want all these voices they will be in the link down below on the reddit and you can download these and import them to your own voice mod and use them at your own will a thousand credits to aeiou the voice doctor if you want to at him i'll put his twitter link down there if you want to get at him he's in the voice mod discord and he is constantly working on all these voices if he hits me up again and with a lot of new voices and stuff, maybe I'll make another video if he's cool with it. But I just really wanted to shed some light on this guy's work because it is actually really fun and phenomenal that he's able to come up with these masterpieces. But that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.